Hi students, I wanted to introduce um, the decoder to you. Uh, a decoder is a basic integrated circuit that takes as an input a binary number and then outputs the equivalent decimal number. So um, since we don't really have a good way to output a decimal number uh, like a numeral five or something like that with zeros and ones, if, we're, if we don't want to output in binary but we want it to be in decimal, what we have to do is we have to have a large number of output bits and basically use them to count up to the highest decimal number. So to clarify what I mean, um, suppose we have um, our input is a two-bit binary number. So if our input bits are A, B, then those can be either 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So in decimal, if we wanted to decode this binary, this would be decimal 0, 1, 2, 3. But as I said, we don't have a good way to output these numerals on the other side of this decoder. So what we do is, since we have four different states here, we're going to have four different output bits. So we'll call them W, X, Y, Z. And the way it works is if the output is zero, then we'll let w be one and the rest of them be zero. If the output is one, we'll let x be one and the rest of the outputs are zero. If the output is two, we'll let y be one and the rest of the outputs are zero. And if the output is three, we'll let z be one and the rest of them will be zero. Um, so let me show you another example if we have a three-bit binary number. So for a three-bit binary input, if we, um, the largest number that we can count up to with three bits is, um, the lowest is zero, 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 and this goes up to one, one, one. So this is binary seven. So that means we have to be able to count between zero and Seven. So we're going to need eight different output bits. So this implies that we need eight output bits. So this is actually going to be um, a three to eight decoder. So let me show you the truth table for the three to eight decoder. Um, if we have our inputs A, B, C, our inputs can scroll between 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. And if we were to decode this binary input in decimal, those would be the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we're going to need eight different outputs. So I'll just call these outputs x. So the first one I'll call x0, then we have x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, and x7. So we have eight different outputs. And um, our x0, will let this be one if we want to show the user somehow that our input is binary zero. So this is going to correspond to decimal zero. And then decimal one is going to be indicated by x1. Decimal two will be indicated by x2. Decimal three will be indicated by x3. So in these all these cases, all of our other outputs have to be zero. And the only output that is one corresponds to the decimal number that is the decoded value of our input binary. So these are all zeros. So you can complete this table where this last case has um, an x7 as one and all of the other input outputs are a zero. Zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so this would, um, you could fill out the rest of this sparse table with the zeros and you have just a one going here in the diagonal. So if we wanted to write an equation, the equations for the three to eight bit decoder, um, we're actually going to do this the same way as we did with the multiplexer. We're actually gonna have um, 
eight different output bits. And we're going to handle each output bit differently. So this is going to be a separate equation. So the equation looks like this. I'll keep the truth table here so you can see. If I'm going to write a separate equation for each output bit, my first output bit is x0. And x0 is 1 when our inputs are 0, 0, 0. So this will be a a0, b0, c0. Then following in the same way, x1 would be a, b, c, where a is knotted and b is knotted. x2 is going to be a, b, c, where a is knotted and c is knotted. x3 is a, b, c, where a is knotted. x4 is a, b, c, where b and c are knotted. And x5 is a, b, c, where b is knotted. x6 is a, b, c, where c is knotted. And x7, finally, is just a, b, c, with no um, negative bits. So we have here a bunch of product terms. Um, in the other circuits that we've done previously in this class, um, a lot of times we would OR all these together. But we don't want to do that because we don't have a single output function. We have multiple outputs, right? So that means we want to leave these product terms kind of separated. And um, our circuit's going to have eight different inputs, outputs coming out of it and three inputs coming in. So let me show you what that circuit might look like. So I'm going to go ahead and make um, A, and then I'm going to also make A naught here. And then I'm going to have a line for B, and I'll have a line for B naught. And then I have input C, and C naught. Okay, great. So, first of all, let's make the circuit for our output x naught. So I'm going to need an a naught, a b naught, a c naught. So I'm going to grab an a naught. I'm going to pull it over. I'm going to grab a b naught, pull it over, and I'm going to grab a c naught, pull over, and I'm going to and all those together. And the result of my and is going to be the output x naught. Now I do that again for x one. So I'm going to grab an a naught. I'm going to grab a B naught, and I'm going to grab a regular C. I and all these together, and this is my output X1. Now for X2, I'm going to grab an A naught. I'm going to grab a B. I'm going to grab a C naught, and all those together, and that's my X2. So you continue on in this way, it's basically implementing all of these product terms with ands, just grabbing either an A or an A naught, a B, a B naught, or a C, C naught. And then remember, um, at the end, you will have um, eight different outputs. So that will give you the circuit for the three to eight decoder, where um, we have three bits of binary input and eight bits of basically equivalent decimal output. So let me know if you have questions about um, the two to four or the three to eight bit decoder. And we'll talk about um, what we can do with these.